we have one last ditch effort to see whether we can stream directly rather than through Restream. So let us know how how it goes when we're in here. That was Jay Blanco's. This 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 one's really cool. I'm not sure if it much of it came through on the stream, but I'd recommend people go back and check it out. Next up, we have Requiem. So this is apparently a uh, this is a sample that Requiem made of a frog, which kind of fits the jungle theme. Sorry, that echo was my fault. It was interesting to go back this far and see the iterations of people's racks. Yeah. Uh, Jan, Jan in particular said uh, when I showed him the different streams that he did, wow, he was like, wow, that's a. Uh, my, my, my system was a lot smaller back then. Next up, we have Wrongest. Ah, uh, Wrongest. Yeah. So this is a patch from Egon. The first, uh, the first minute is, is silence. Uh, he said he did pretty much everything that you should do wrong a in a uh, first, in a stream.
Nice. Yeah, I really like this. I think I finally got the audio, the audio settings right. I think. Yeah, you, you, you won't be able to see me because the setup was like a virtual OBS camera. Through it's, it's like a weird. <laughs> it's like a really weird setup at the moment because restream w wasn't behaving. Actually, I might be able to. I'm not the one to mess with it. <laughs> Stream technology. This is a cool patch. Yeah. No rants about MIDI though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Am I right with the commentary on this one? Spaghetti? Yeah, that's, 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 that's a patch nights. <laughs> See the gliss going out recently. Pick one of those up and having, having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I don't know how it does like uh, sonically, but visually it's really cool. Yeah. This is this is this is a stream where I hacked into DJ MJR's computer and stole his OBS uh, <laughs> layout. <laughs> You're in the unicorn and the dragon. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was doing vertical for a little while there. Uh, oscilloscope to uh, point a camera at, so I had to do a virtual one. <laughs> I like how you even did the uh, little box around it. Yeah. looking lights are pretty cool too. Cool. Next up we have one last uh, Rongus stream. This is Enthusiastic Electrons streaming from a plane 30,000 feet in the air. It's very quick. Yeah, it's like, and this is it. it's, like it's like only 30 <laughs> seconds long, but it's uh, we actually did get audio through at at, at, at one point, I think so. Yeah, this was a jet blue flight from JFK to LAX, CP6. Nice. All right. Next up, we have September. Tamba. And this is Heavens, I think. See the see, see the droid going wild. Uh, Heaven says that he uh, patched the voices into each other for CD. Uh, he says both the Tim Pelagio and Dick were CDing and siren along with the droid. Oh, that song is that? That's a little bit of uh, Sorry, what was that? Uh, it looks like it's a little case. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe like a pod or something. Damn 
changes. Yeah, the patch notes for this one are the whole patch is centered around using cold mech to surveil the parameters of Akamis. I use a sort of macro control along with mutable frames, sort of celebration of Akamis as a space that can be inhabited rather than just a voice in a techno song, an environment panoramic in scope.
we have P. Curry in a hurry. Wait, there's not a, not a salt anywhere. No. This, this, this isn't the hive. Hey, my, my brother's in the chat. Shout out to Tim. The last one for September is from Mika Mercurial. the probably go go back there and its shapes. Yeah, the patch notes say uh they routed the polygogo through double filters, uh Dopa 121S and Matriarch's filter in a stereo delay. So the matriarch. So this is where you can kind of hear the matriarchs built to the best. And this is apparently where you can see how a slight adjustment adjustment of the polygogo can change the whole theme of the atmosphere with a slight adjustment.
Right, next up we have Talktober. Hello. Hello. Check, check, check. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Check, check, check. Today's patch is brought to you by the A119 envelope follower comparator. The, uh, it's going and doing a lot of different things. Most notably the, uh, the cutoff frequency on this here Hickory filter. And then everything goes through Vimeo phone. Welcome back, the resonance period. I'm not sure if you can hear me. No, it doesn't look like it.
it's a self-expressive kind of thing. And that was really cool. So the current status of our technical issues is that I think uh, the resonance period can't hear me, but I think everyone can hear me, and and everyone can hear can can hear him, but we can't we can't talk. Yes, we 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 do all miss my year. Yes, we, we, we do. Yes. Uh, next up, we have shock value. This is his foray into a uh, into physical hardware and linking it up with VCD rack, which is which is really cool.
hear you again. Yeah, I think that takes some other issues. Can, can, can you hear my microphone? Yes. Cool. All right, we're back in business. It's been a roller coaster of technical issues. I've been doing a back and forth to library chat value game this year. It's really cool to see how it uh, sets everything up at PCV. This is one thing about Bloom that's kind of driven me nuts. Is that it will... Yeah, it's cool. I've, I've, I've tried to do the whole PCV rack, or like hardware to PCV rack fine. using so MIDI, but I haven't been able to get the latency under control. The next time around, around it might choose C5, and then the next time around it might choose F6, and before you know it, you're seven octaves higher than you anticipated. And I'm not sure exactly how to tame that. Man, these streams have been so good lately. Yeah. All the eyes of the great ones. This was apparently Isaac's first stream with the with the Abha, or, or or a very early one. So still trying to figure it out. Love at first sight. Those models are always so pretty with the with, with the lights shining through the PCB. How do you say it? Pass council filter. Yeah, I saw something. I saw some people talking about that in the uh, in the chat. Is that like a module made by someone that's in the Discord? Yeah. It's uh. Good. I'm gonna say the name wrong because in my head I say Google D. But oh yeah, <laughs> I know. I know who you're talking about now. Also in uh, the
decade up. Oh, hey, that's me. Oh, look, I was using the BeatStep Pro. I was, <laughs> I need to get back to that. This was um, the piano part here was my uh, like I think it was six year old then banging on a piano and uh, I recorded it and that was the beginning of this and then uh, I used a recording from uh, every month LibriVox.org does a poem or a short story that like a bunch of different people read so I was using that and uh, it's all um, public domain. Nice. Uh, and a sampled part of that. Yeah, that p that piano loop really works. And then the the drums are uh, running live there through that. listen to this it really reminded me of uh david lynch yeah the voice it was like a particular yeah david lynch. So i didn't think of that yeah and someone had mentioned that i'm like oh yeah it does sound <laughs> yeah, he does like a weird spoken word thing for uh one of flying lotus's newer albums and it sounds kind of similar to this yeah so i actually went and looked up some other readings by this uh particular person because i thought their voice was so interesting I read a couple of other things they've done so there's this fee fi fo thumb in here and i i thought that was cool so i slowed it down and, and that became like the base for a lot of this track It's all running through the um, uh, Bitbox micro. I chopped up this stuff in. Uh, That's, I've been that's, using the same sample recently, and um, I didn't get my drum, my my clock lined up. And it just sounded horrible. So, 
figure that out. B five four bomb. Cool. Uh, that's. I think that's right for um, to October. We're now on to Slovember. First up, we have Bartok. So this is the uh, Soma Terra played through the Microcosm pedal.
iron level should be a bit better now. So yeah, dual Lubards, uh, dual ghosts, and I'll walk above. Wow. Manually tweaking the start and stop positions of the loop. Those tape readouts are so cool. Yeah. This is uh, built off the techno patch from the EMS third birthday stream. We just slowed it down and put the nice. put the entire thing through FX8 on the black hole setting. It's not really recognizable as techno. This, this, this sounds really cool.
right, we have we have three more left. We're a little bit over time. This is Draco 2 Guided Tours. So Draco says he's playing around with the neutrons delay time. The, the neutrons got a really cool analog uh, bucket brigade delay. It's like it's like it's like really fun to jam on. And also Europi in strange attractor mode. That's the uh, chaos um, script. All right. Like, is it kind of similar to sloths? Yeah. So you can choose from three different. Um, at least last I used it, you can choose from three different kinds of chaos. Nice. So there's like Lorenzo tractors, and then the other two. But yeah, one of those is, is just like sloths. You have a little more control over the speed of it. Though. Cool. Nice and mellow and slow. Salem sound waves. That was some cool analog visuals. Yeah. Got some analog audio as well. Apparently, this is using a Versacoda cassette player. So it's lots of like tape.
Can you tell her? Yeah, I wonder what that, that visualizer is. It, look, it looks really cool. Is that like the, the chav, maybe? Um, so it's at the beginning, I think, of the main bow. I've heard varying reviews of it. they say about this part is that it was like incredibly quiet um, they were surprised that they could have it come through in the stream uh, and that there's like no oscillators heard in this entire patch it's all just tape recordings and it's through through various effects and feedback Last up, we have Kesha. Yes, this is a really nice one. The dog is calling to be let out. I'll be right back. Yeah, no, keep going. No problem. <laughs>
Blades will sequence with that, and Eric has sent Black Sequencer and Blue to run at different octaves and different speeds. The high pitch ones being sent through Nautilus as a synced delay. This is uh this is Kasha. It will be it will be the last video on that playlist. Great. And that's it for um that's it for Montula Extravaganza. We are, we are all caught up. Um, thanks for bearing with us while we had the, uh, technical issues, but yeah, cool. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining. Yeah. We can do a January one next, I guess. Yep. For all yep. Oh, I had a, I had a question though. Yeah. Very important. Does this count as a collaboratory? It does actually. So we'll have to do a yeah. uh, review of this when we, when we, when we review <laughs> collaboratory. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for putting this all together. I know it was a lot of work to get all those timestamps and reach out to everyone. So yeah, yeah, that was, that was that was fun. <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. All right.